Hello. Good evening, everyone. It's so wonderful to be on here. So great to be on here. I've been busy in the craft room, but I haven't been on here with you guys. So we'll just give it a few minutes. Hey, Glenda. Hi, Carol. We'll give it a few minutes for people to pop on here. And um, we'll, then we'll get started. Hi, Diana. Now, uh, first thing that I, hi Connie, that I wanna say is that I did not create this box. Hi Cheryl, hi Sandra. Hello and good evening everyone. Hi Laura. So, okay, um, hi Diana, hi Brenda. Sandra, have you had rain? It has been unbelievable over here. Hello, Joan. Hello, Karen. Yes, it is, Diana, the paper pumpkin lemon. Yes. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Janie. Hi, Linda. Good evening to everyone. Thanks for popping on here and enjoying the evening with me. I really appreciate it. So, the way this got inspired is, <laughs> there's always a story, right? Um, the way this got inspired was that I promoted to Silver Elite. So, my upline gifted me some, um, an amount, and then I could pick product. So, I chose um, in the annual catalog, what I chose because it's a me gift, we had thunderstorms all around Virginia. Oh, yeah, it was wild over here. Just wild. Yeah, like it would, the sun would come out, and then we had a little, oh, no, no, a little was not even the word today. Um, mega was the word. I mean, the sun would come out, and then it would dump on you. I was going to the store. I actually, I turned the car around. I was like, I'll just wait. It'll clear up. I came back, I put the car in the garage. I was like, I'll just wait. And five minutes later, it was clear, out I went. By the time I got out of the store, it was raining. It was kind of crazy here. So anyway, this was my gift. And this was a me gift. I love a kit because I don't have to think about it. It gives me a lot of other um, wonderful ideas, that kind of thing. So, and I love fruit. And then this little saying right here that said, hi, Gloria that says, um, just a note. So uh, with that, I also received, as in my gift, the lovely you stamp set and the bundle. Hi, Jeanette. Um, and I was really intrigued by this punch because, um, clear 10 minutes late. I know, right? I know, it was crazy, Carol, it was crazy. Um, so everybody was talking about this punch that it was very difficult to line up. So I did a video um, for my team that's on my Happy Crafting Corner uh, that this week, this past Thursday, they get a video every Thursday. Um, and uh, we, I looked at this punch to see how to line it up and I hope I helped um, with that. So, and I just love these sayings on here. They're just so wonderful. They fit nicely in this, in these punches. Hi, Lily. And, um, it's just something different to put on the front of a card. So this was part of, um, of what I wanted. It was the Simply Citrus, the entire card kit. You get 15 cards, three of each, uh, three of each five designs. I was like, wow, that's amazing. And they just look so happy and so much fun. So I put them together and I did a video and I don't know about you guys, but like my internet is so slow. Hi, Jane. It, my internet is so crazy slow. I have been uploading this video like parts in here and parts there of it since yesterday. It's crazy. Um, so uh, another thing with the catalog, if you're a new customer of mine, I will send you a brand new catalog. And in the month of July, if you order $35 in product from me, that's before shipping and handling and taxes, okay, I'm going to send you a full pack of the square vellum doilies, okay? So that will start August 1st, okay? Um, 
I actually just closed out the workshop order, so it's really starting now. So, you know, whoever orders from now until the end, of, not August, from now until the end of July, I'm a month ahead, right? <laughs> that's not good. We need to go through July, right? Um, so through the month of July, uh, that's the, that I'm going to send this gift with a $35 order. How many are in here? Um, there's 24 in the package, so you get a lot of them. Okay, so that's a nice little gift. So anyway, back to um, everything that's going on. You have two more days if you'd like to join my team and pick a free bundle from Stampin' Up. Just two more days. And um, so then this promotion will go away. What it is is the starter kit is $99. You get to choose $125 worth of product. And then you pick a free bundle that's from Stampin' Up. If you join my team, I will send you also um, some of the sheer... Um, ribbon that's in the annual catalog. I don't have any here. I've sent it all out, but let me show that because my team got this. Hi, Paula. My team got this for this month's gift, so I just give it to everybody. Let's see. Where is that ribbon? Did I pass it? I believe I passed it, right? There's the doilies. And here's the ribbon right here. Just a, a spool of that sheer ribbon this month. That's what you'll get. Hi, Mary. Nice to see everyone. So the thing about this was, as soon as I made all these cards, and here's how this comes. This is amazing, okay? Uh, this is just my leftover paper from Paper Pumpkin. I lined my box. So it comes in, let me just lift this out of here. This cool box, right? This kit comes like this in this really cool jewel box right here. And I'm like, wow, what a gift. I mean, if you were to fill this up with cards, those cards, take it to a nursing home and gift it to them to give out to their patients. Uh, it's, just, it's just wonderful. And this is very, very um, nice quality. It's real craft. So I thought, well, I need to line it with something. So I took my paper pumpkin, um, some of the tissue paper that I had, and I lined it up just to make it cute, okay? <laughs> Aaron and I, were, oh, okay, Vicki has her um, granddaughter with her. Hello, Erin, nice to see you. <laughs> I'm glad you're with, I'm glad you're with your grandma, and, and I hope you guys have enjoyed crafting together. So these are the cards that were made from the kit. They're all made up, but I thought to myself, what could I do with these cards. I don't even know if you're gonna be able to do any kind of craft fairs, you know, this year. So I thought, wow, they would look great, like three of them in a bag or five of them in a bag or something like this. Look at how cute these are, aren't these? This is adorable. This is just, <laughs> and then this one, oh, they're so much fun, so much fun. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> that's so sweet, Vicky. Um, so I just had so much fun. And of course I decorated the insides of them. I had fun with the fruit guys. I really did. I just had a lot of fun with a lot of stamping. Like I say, a lot of times I design things and, um, I'm not allowed to send stamped images, you know, so I have to design them to where the kits are, um, either die cuts or, uh, punches or something like that. So uh, <clears throat> I really had fun with the ink. I have to say that. Okay. So this is what I got out of it. Plus then these three. Now I'm not taking credit, credit for this design of this box whatsoever. I got this. I searched and searched the internet because I do not keep 12 by 12 paper. So I searched and searched and I finally found this that, um, oh, they, they are great cards. I know, right? Wouldn't that be nice, Connie? And you would have so much fun creating them and putting them together and maybe like putting your own special spin on them. You know, I, it would just be a wonderful, um, it would be a wonderful gift. And, you know, you could even fill a box like that with Christmas cards, you know, that kind of thing. I, it would be fantastic. Um, so, yeah, it is, isn't it, Paula? Yeah. So I searched and searched all over YouTube and finally came up from Wow Nola Creation, Susan Lavasser. She is a wonderful demonstrator. I'm sure you guys, if you, you know, if you watch videos, I'm sure you've seen her. She's like phenomenal. I, I love to watch her videos, but she came up with this box. I just am amazed, right? 
and they fit in here. Aren't they perfect? So I put three of them in here and they fit, three fit nicely with envelopes. So I even thought, you know, maybe if where you work, you might have like a little Christmas craft fair. This would be, because I'm going to give you all the dimensions and everything, it doesn't matter. Just, um, oh, yes, Diana, right? Don't you? I watch everybody. I watch everybody. I get ideas from everybody. Everybody has been such um, inspiration to me. You know, these demonstrators that have been with Stampin' Up! for a long period of time. And some people are just so wonderfully, like, outside-the-box creative. And I just really love, she put a, she did hers with um, the magnolia paper and put the big magnolia in the front. And then um, it was going to attach Velcro inside, but I just did the belly band. So, um, so that's good too. I know, right? I'm, I don't know. I, I, when I watch TV at night, I don't watch TV. I, I've got the TV on and I'm like scrolling through videos, watching videos after videos and everything. So, but this is so cute. So like, okay, if there's not a craft fair, let's just say, hey, Becky, um, let's just say that there is, um, you know, you work in an office. Maybe you want to give some Christmas gifts. This is fantastic. And you could, you could do it up in Christmas. You could do thank you cards. You could do just, you know, do like the Magnolia thing and do all occasions. When we get stuck, I look up ideas. Oh yeah, I'm always looking stuff up between Pinterest, YouTube. I am constantly looking things up. So this was a fantastic kit. It, it comes with the nice um, directions, just, just like, um, paper pumpkin. But what I really liked is like right here, it gives you the coordinating colors, but then right here on the steps, if like it goes one through six, you coordinate that with the numbers over here and then you know what to use. Okay. That is so wonderful. Stamp said, I want to use and get awesome. I, I know, right? The, it is, you get such, and then you like you start doing stuff and then you have your own ideas. Okay. So wonderful kit. If you like doing things like that. But from that, that's how I came up with hunting down this box. I, and I absolutely love this. So, <clears throat> I love spending even watching videos. Oh, thank you so much, Paula. I, I haven't been on here much this past week, you know. But um, I just have to work tomorrow, Monday. And then um, Tuesday, I have jury duty. And hopefully, I am really hopeful hoping, hey Judith, I am really hoping that Wednesday I don't have to do anything and I could do my live on here on Wednesday, but I'm not promising that yet. It all depends on what happens on Tuesday at jury duty. So whew, it's been a little crazy. So yeah, yeah, just um just one more day helping out my friend and then and that's good. And then she's gonna go back to work so then they won't need me. Uh which is fine which is great. And <laughs> so because let me tell you something guys I miss this craft room. I miss you guys. And I love being here with you guys. Like you have no, uh, no, I am not going back to work. No, 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 and no. And big, no, big, big N O. I am not going back to work. I am retiring. And, um, <laughs> my, um, my friend at work, uh, her father had been sick for years and, uh, finally he had passed away. And so, um, the, uh, the other girl at work that I, I know, right. Um, <laughs> the, the other girl at work, uh, had given her notice, you know, not knowing that he was going to pass that kind of thing. So she was leaving and it kind of got into, right, Laura, <laughs> you know exactly what that was a real quick note, right? So it got into just like things things overlap there for just like two days. So I just went in and volunteered. So I, it was the best thing to do. I, I know, right, Judith, I missed you guys something fierce. So I just went in and volunteered because it was the right thing to do. The doctor had nobody. And you know, it was it was a little crazy. And I was like, forget it. I'll just come in. Let's just get through this. And you know, and then I had jury duty. I was worried about that. But now we've got everything is working out just wonderfully. So everybody can do everything. And I feel good about it. So <laughs> Work just gets in the way of crafting. I know, I know work gets in the way of crafting. Yes, yes, for sure. Okay, so let's move that out of the way. And we're going to now bring in 
the base of this box and the scoreboard, okay? Now, I have my sticky notes here, all right? Um, and I will post these, you know, like after the video and stuff, I will um, get things um, typed out and posted on here for you because this is something, this is a kind of little box. I mean, you can whip it up and put some cards in it and give it as a gift, bam, it's fantastic. So what you want is a piece of cardstock that's eight by 11. Like I said, I was desperately trying to find something that was not a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock because I don't have any 12 by 12. I don't keep it. Um, I always keep the eight and a half by 11. So this box was wonderful at eight by 11. So on the eight inch side up here, we want to score at one half inch. I've got the measurements right over here. One half, one, seven, and seven and a half. So let's do that. One half, one, seven, seven and a half. Okay, now we're gonna turn it and now we've got the 11 inch side at the top. I know, right, Cheryl? It's, it is really a perfect gift. Um, now at the top, when you have the 11 inch side up here, it's two and a half, three, seven and a half, and eight, okay? Let me, I'm just gonna kinda leave that right there. So two and a half, two and a half, three, seven and a half, and eight. Okay, now, that's number one. We will use our trimmer also. Okay, now, um, let's see, can you see? Okay, you can see against this darker background probably. Okay, now, you'll notice that there is a thick part here at the bottom and a skinnier part here at the top. You want the thick part at the top, okay? You wanna work with the skinny part down here. It's not that much difference, but you can see it, okay? Because this is actually going to fold over and it's, just imagine, it's this flap. So the flap is bigger than what the little um, pocket is, okay? So that's why that you want that at the top. Now, mind you, I've made one of these, okay, so bear with me. <laughs> well, I don't know why I don't come in here and make like five or six to get acclimated, but I don't, okay? <laughs> Just like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll get through it, I'll wing it. Um, okay, so now what we want to do is um, cut right here on these, see these little squares right here? We want to cut on these score lines. Cut on these score lines. You can show up. Can you show up the side of the box? Show, oh, this? Like that? Oops, show us. Yes, like, like this, when the completed project. That's the side, and then I did that on the top. There's the sides. Yes. They re it really holds the, um, the cards well. Okay, so right here, we've just cut this little tab right here, okay? I, I know, right? I, Kathy, I don't keep 12 by 12. And let me tell you, it was hard to find, but um, Susan Lavasser had it. Okay, now this little tab right here, you want to cut it off, all right? This one right here. Cut this off. Let me just get here. I want to get right on that. Good. And now you just want to give this, you know, that little kind of mitered haircut right here, just so that the tab will close in nicely. And what I love about Stampin' Up Snips is they are so um, pointy. You know, it goes right into that point there. Isn't that wonderful? Okay, so. Just that, that, you want to do that on both sides, okay, right here. 
So you want to just cut up on the score line right here. Cut this bottom tab off, this little square. Then miter in just a little bit. Angle those corners in just a little bit so that your tab will close nicely. That's all that's for. No big deal. All right, now let's get the scoreboard out of the way for sure. We'll work on our table there. Okay, now for this, you definitely want a bone folder. And um, you want to go ahead now. No, we don't bone fold yet. Like I said, I made one, right? This is hilarious. Um, I want to bring in my trimmer now. Because what you want to do, let's see, we're here. Okay, you can see me. Good. What you want to do here, see these long strips? They need to come off on both sides. So you go in, in to the second score line, and we're going to cut these off. Okay, now, I, what I like to do when I do something like this, and what she said is this measurement is an inch, actually. And it is. It's to the, that second score line is an inch. So when I do something like this, I like to start my blade in the date, what I call the danger zone, okay? Because if you come down and you come too fast and cut this off, then we have to cut it again, right? So I'm down here in the danger zone, all right? The blade here has these marks. Let me take this out of here. Let me show you. So that this, this is not difficult at all. You just have to look at your um, tool here. Okay. Let me hold this up here. This blade and all blades, okay, have these marks here. Okay, there's four of them. What I want to do is get that junction of the paper right onto this mark. And I know my blade is where it needs to be to cut. That's why these little um, notches are in these things. Okay, and Fiskus has it. They've all got them. So let me uh, reattach this. It just goes right in there. Okay, now, I wanna make sure that I have this at the top. Okay, and we're at the one inch, that's perfect. I'm going to bring this over. Let's see, do I have that in there good? Yes, do I have it in there good? Okay, there. <laughs> All right, there we go. Now, I'm gonna bring it over and I'm going to look at my notch and I'm right there on it, and I'm just going to put it down and go up, okay? See? It separates perfectly, and we didn't make uh, like a major boo-boo right here, okay? So that's scrap. Now again, we're going to turn this. I'm going to come out here at the one inch mark right here. I'm going to take my blade and I'm, go I'm not lining my blade up. I'm looking at this notch. Okay, I'm good. And now I'm going to come down. See? Isn't that nice? That cuts it really, really well. Now, of course, you can use a scissor, but you're not going to get that straight of a cut like I just did. Okay? All right. So, now we're gonna use our bone folder. You want to go ahead and use your bone folder and burnish every single one. Every single one nicely, because whenever you do something like this, it did, Diana, thank the Lord, right? <laughs> thank you, God, and let me get through this and do it perfectly the first time through. I know, right? And so you just wanna burnish um, on everything. Whenever you do boxes or anything like that, um, you know, always use a bone folder. Get a very crisp edge because then your box will fold up nicely. Like these little guys need to come in. This is thick. This is, I used, I'm sorry. Yes, this is thick. Oh, that's okay, Lily. You can watch the replay. This is thick cardstock that I'm using. Yes, I just wanted a little bit more bulk um, with it. You know, I think that the box would be too flimsy if you just use DSP 
because you, it's we're really trying to hold three cards. Okay, now, here we go. Do you see how we are coming together? So, look at that. That is how fast that folds together. Isn't that so cool? And then it's just decorate from here, have fun, right? And I did it very simply, okay? And like I said, I used the lemon from the paper pumpkin. But guys, you could you imagine doing like peonies and putting like one of those 3D ones on here or even on the belly band and doing some other just artsy things all around? I mean, I, I have like a million ideas with this. Okay, so now we want to close our box. So this needs to junction up here. But let me see. I have to think. That needs to, okay. Yes, I will post the measurements. To, yes, yes. So this needs to junction like right in here, okay? I'm going to use, I am out of Tombow, guys. Ah, I just, as, as I, we got, as I just finished up placing an order, and I swear my Tombows, that one's gone. I don't know if I even have... I'd rather use Tombow with this, but if not, we can use other things. And it seems like, oh, here's a little. Okay, see, I only need a little bit. Okay, that makes me happy. I love my liquid glue. Okay, now, you wanna hold this here. Let that take take hold right there in that, in that junction right there, okay? Get it squared up. Okay, then you're going to come over here and you're going to do the same thing. Just a little Tombow um, or um, tear and tape, something like that. You need something really solid with this. So then I bring it in. I'm just going to put that. That's why we mitered that tab so that we would get a nice edge right there. Nice. Okay, now we're just going to flip this up. Isn't that fun? That's how it's simple. This is so wonderful. Okay, so here we go. Just some. I'm putting Tombow on each. I'm going to flip this up. I'm holding that in. I'm bringing it in. And then with my fingers, while I have the wiggle room, okay, I want to just make sure that we're square, okay? Just while we've got the wiggle room. It's that easy. I got 10 Tombos. I know, right? Uh, Cheryl, that is so funny. Okay, I ordered five. I should have probably ordered 10. Now I like to take my bone folder with this and just push it down. Oh, thank you, Linda. Um, she really made it seem simple. It's not difficult. You know, just get your little fingers. In. Oh, look at how cute that is and put your little box together. It's adorable. Now we're gonna make it come alive, right? Okay, so now I call this the bottom, right here. Let's bring this measurement in. Five and three quarter, the solid cardstock, and mine is Mango Melody. And then I used, um, from the In Colors, my In Color collections that I absolutely love, 2022, in colors here. I love the polka dots. I'm crazy about these polka dots. I actually ran out of the bumblebee. I just, but I absolutely love these dots. So this is what I did here. Okay. The solid cardstock is five and three quarter by two and a quarter. And the DSP is five and a half by two. That simple. Okay. Let me keep my, I'll keep my measurements and then these will help me right here to get everything, you know, for you guys done. And now right here, and I want to use my, um, my new adhesive here, the Stampin' Seal. I really like it. Um, it's extremely permanent. You have just a little bit of time to move it. I've noticed with it. So there we go. <clears throat> now these, you know, you've got, uh, they're cut back a quarter of an inch, so you have an eighth of an inch border around, and really, oh, see already, oh, I need my Tombow. I'm just a Tombow girl, guys. Just a Tombow girl. 
Let's see. Okay. All right, there we go. There we go. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put this down on my box. Do I have Tombow? Please tell me I've got Tombow. Wow, you know, when you get used to something, that's like trying to craft with one arm tied behind my back, right? <laughs> now, here's the bottom. Just like that. It's so cute. And I'm just going to let that set nicely there. Okay. Now, let's see. What should we do? Okay, let's do the flap next. And again, uh, Mango Melody and uh, the same DSP, the, the in colors. Five and three quarter by two and three quarter is the solid card stock. So, um, I love my art glitter glue for that same reason. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. See, you get used to something and it's like, oh, you can't live without it. I can't live without Tombow. Um, and then the DSP is five and a half by two and a half. So I just put solid card stock because whatever color that you want to do really, and basically I'm giving you the, um, the, uh, dimensions and then you use whatever kind of colors that you want. So let's go ahead and put these together. All right. Here we go. Oh, okay. So I've never used, um, yes, we are rounding the corners on the top flap. Yes. Yes. We're going to do that. Yes, definitely. Oh, I should have done that on this, right? Let me round these right quick. Thank you, Diana. Let me round these right quick. I'm just going to stick this in my corner rounder and get a little bit off. Definitely round these corners before you do this, but I'm saving it. Okay, there we go. Now I'm just going to do my cardstock here and just on the bottom. Okay, not the top. Let that, let that stay square. Then come in and round your white and eat. there's, let's see, there's a corner rounder on the trio. Um, no, it's great. Hey, Lily. No, um, my, this is, this was that way. This was that way. And I totally forgot, totally forgot. So thank you. Yes. But we see you saved me, saved me right there. So we have a corner rounder on the trio punch, or if you have any type of an envelope punch board, there is a corner rounder on the back of that also. So we're going to put this on the flap here. Just like that. Oh, we've got to do a giveaway. Hmm. Now that everybody's on here, right? You know what the giveaway is? It's this. It's this, this um, box right here with the three cards in it. That is the giveaway for this week. Let's go ahead and draw a name. Hello. Glad to have everybody here tonight. Isn't this wonderful? I just, I just missed you guys. Lily, I have jury duty. Can you believe it on Tuesday? That's nuts. Okay, here we go. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Jeanette Bell. She won. Okay. We will, I will be sending that to her. That's good. Oh, thank you, Diana. <laughs> That's nice. Well, you know, we probably should do two then tonight, right? You guys like this a lot. So when I finish this, um, I'll put three cards in it, and then we'll draw somebody else, okay? Yes, it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lily. Oh, I know, right? Lily lives in the same town that I do. Um, okay, now we are going to do the back of this. 
So here are the back measurements. The solid cardstock, five and three quarters by four and a quarter, and the DSP, five and a half by four. All right? Wonderful. Let's see. I just have a feeling that this was about out. Oh no, I've still got stuff in it. Fortunate. Here we go. Okay, now let's go ahead and put this here. Wonderful, just wonderful. And now I'm gonna use the stamp and seal on this. This is such wonderful adhesive. Honest to goodness, I find myself using less of it. So I have to admit that. Okay, let's see here. There we go. And we've got the back on. Hi, Susan. That's, you're fine. Oh, that is just coming along so wonderfully, right? So, okay, let's make now, let's go ahead and put our top and bottom. There's one for the top, okay, and one for the bottom here. And so I said cut two, five and three quarter by one half. Five and three quarter by one half. So let's see if I can get a little Tombow here. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Thank you, Susan, thank you. We are going to pick a few to put in here. So I'm going to put this up here. And if it is like a little bit off, a little bit wider, just put it down. There we go. It'll scooch right into that groove right in there. Okay. Just like that. Oh, cute. See, it is just, do you see it sticking out right there? Oh, thank you, Lily. I would make it look easy. I don't know about that, guys. The, uh, what is the Tombow holder again? It is um, a Tipsy. A Tipsy, I think it's called. Um, I had the card around here somewhere. Now, I'm, I am going to take some snips and just give this a slight haircut. Just slowly. I'm right up against the box. Yes, tipsy. And I love it. I really get every bit of my Tombow out of it. Um, I'm just right now like there's nothing barely left in there. Okay, that is great. Okay, so we gave that a little haircut. And now we're going to use the bottom. This for the bottom right here. So as you cut these, you might go, I know, right? My internet has been, oh my good guys, it never takes me this long to get a video done. This, that video for those cards, that should have been up and done yesterday. But I am having such internet issues. I talked to my daughter, um, the, not the one that lives close to me, the one that lives a little further away. And she was complaining about her internet. And I that was Saturday morning. And I was telling her, um, yeah, you might want to trim these. Like, I know I put a half an inch, but a little shy of a half inch. Um, but she was saying, gosh, mom, my internet is in a horrible state. And I can't do anything. Oh, I was like, oh, no, mine's good. Yeah. And um, no, it didn't take two or three hours. And mine was horrible. I used an M0 whole glue bottle. Oh, yes. That's a good way to do it, too. Okay, so I gave that another little haircut right there. And that's easy to do, just right up against it, you know. Okay, now we're going to um, get the last ones on the side. Cut two. One half by two and a quarter is what I did for the sides. Cut two. One half by two one half by two and a quarter. Thank you, Brenda. Okay, now right here on these sides, just a little bit. I'm 
just like that. If you hear the birds, I've got the windows open. I just love that it's light until like still like nine o'clock at night, you know, and I just absolutely love that. And I keep the windows open and the birds are screaming and everything. But <laughs> like uh, the minute I get up in the morning, I, I open the windows because I'm like, I, I'm, it's going to be just not much longer, you know, like six weeks. And then you got to close them and, you know, it gets cooler at night. And I'm a real summer person. I don't know if you could tell, but I'm very, very tan. So what I try to do with this is see, I try to leave, I try to like line that up with that mango melody right there, just to let that line stay the same here too. Okay. On the end, I don't come in to the, to the DSP. I still come out to that mango melody. I think it looks cute like that. And I think that is good. That one doesn't need a haircut. Oh, we are just coming. Look at how cute this is just coming along. Okay, now let me, let's pick out three cards because we're going to do, so I put these three in the first one, right? Because I've got two of those, two of those. Okay, so this one will get this card and this card and we need some, a pop of color in there. Let's go yellow here, or this is like Mango Melody. I like that. Okay, so there's that. Okay. Oh, these are, look at that. Just a note. Way to go. Oh, love it. They fit in here so wonderfully. Look at this. I mean, these, these are, just, this is a perfect holder for three, uh, three cards with envelopes. Really, guys, that it holds it really nice, really nicely. Oh, oh, isn't that nice? Look at how wonderful that looks in there. Really, oh my goodness, I am so happy with that. Okay, belly band time. The belly band is one by 11. Mango Melody is what I used. One by 11, whatever card stock, okay? And I never score a belly band. I put it here, I bring it up around the project, and I just finger fold it because... This you need to be like slippery, okay? This does not need to be tight because it needs to slip on and off, all right? So right here, I'm going to add some Tombow, maybe. If not, tear and tape. Oh, look at me, how lucky I got through this whole project. Thank you. Okay, right here. So right there, and remember, this is not, this is just finger pressed like that. That's it. Oh, thank you, Becky. I mean, the, you, there's so much you can do with this. Now, what I did was, this is so funny. I, I didn't have any, um, I'm going to put my lemon here. I didn't have any of my leaves left from my paper pumpkin. So what to do? Okay, <laughs> these are leaves punched from the apple punch right here. Okay, I just stuck the corner in there, punch, punch. Okay, so I used that punch and then I ran it through the old world, old world paper and, um, oh, thank you, Carol. I ran it through the old world paper and it crinkled them to make them look just like leaves. I just thought that was so much fun. So here we go. I'm going to put these together here with some glue dots. And from that kit, these are all the glue dots I have left over. Oh, thank you, Vicki. I hope you guys will really try making making this box. Um, you will really, you'll be like, oh, it's so-and-so's birthday. Let me make a box, okay? Let me put some cards in it and go for it. So here's my little leaves. Isn't this fun? And then right here, another glue dot. Get that off of there. There we go. And now I'm just gonna make that come on the back of that lemon right there. Yes, you can, uh, honest to goodness, you can make them and have them on hand and be like, oh, it's, I forgot so-and-so's birthday's tomorrow. No problem, three cards, the box, bam, we've got it. I'm going to put this on here with dimensionals now. And here's the dimensionals that came in that kit. So these are, this is what I have left over from that kit. And I had some of the white flowers. I think I still have a few more. And I had some um, 
I'm going to use, uh, oh, great, Cheryl, I'm glad. Erin wants to make one tomorrow. I know, right? Um, I had some gold adhesive back sequins from another paper pumpkin project. And um, so I'm using those to decorate the inside of my little flowers there. Because on the card kits, we didn't decorate the inside of the flower. It just was the flower. So here we go here. We're going to put this, our lemon here. Let's make it just a little sassy to the side. Okay, good. And now let's go ahead and bring in some more glue dots. And we'll put our flowers up here. And so this is where I thought that the little gold in the center picked up the gold in the lemon. Isn't that cute? I just love this. This is so much. You got, you could sit in your craft room. Just imagine when it's snowing and it's cold. You can just sit and make these boxes and, and just put them in a shelf and be like, I, I'm ready. I'm ready for anything. Anything that anybody says, I'm like, I've got it. I've got the gift. Because I don't know anybody that wouldn't just be like, oh my goodness, this is so stinking cute. And you know, you could use anything here. Absolutely anything you wanted. You could use just rhinestones. You could, um, you know, use any kind of an embellishment. Oh, there we are. Isn't this the cutest box for cards that you have ever seen? Let's draw somebody. Second one. It's no good if you can't give your stuff away, right? And share. Let's see who this is. Who's this? Da, da, da. Oh, Susan. Susan Piccio. I will send her a box of cards. That is wonderful. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. So there's that one's for Susan. And Janet. And Jeanette. That's all. That is just awesome. All right, ladies. This is what we did tonight. I hope you will try these. I love the colors. The Mango Melody really went well with the Just Jade, I thought. So here's my winners. Ta-da! I will send these out this week. It'll probably be more toward the end of the, end of the week when um, things calm down a little bit. But um, hopefully, maybe... Maybe everything might be behind me come Wednesday, and I'm hoping if that happens, then I will be on here on Wednesday live. But if not, you know, just don't think that anything's happened. I just got tied up with it, and um, we'll just have to go from there, or I'll post an announcement or something. So that's, that's what we'll do, okay? And um, of course, I'll be on here next Sunday. And um, I can't wait for you guys to try these, really. And I, I thought that they came out so stinking cute. And like I say, the cards, j they just fit in here. Her dimensions were perfect. The cards fit in here perfectly. And they are just wonderful. It, it's just, it's the perfect little gift. You know, not too much, not too little. Um, has a nice personal touch to it. I think it's wonderful. So, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Remember, there's only two more days to join my team or anybody's team and get that pick a free bundle. Okay, just a couple more days till the 30th. And, um, you know, like I say, my team or anybody's team. So, yeah, just get your 20% get your discount, craft it up, have fun, right? All right, ladies, thanks again for watching. Please, yes, please. I won't forget to post the measurements. I'm going to do that right now. I'm, t I'm going right to the computer and, um, and posting the measurements right this very minute. Okay. All righty, ladies, have a good evening. Please stay safe. I will see you next Sunday and do some happy crafting during the week. Thanks again for watching.